Today we're going to talk about camping in the rain. Rain can be pretty common while motorcycle camping. Light rain is usually not more than an inconvenience, but if it turns to a downpour and starts to flood, it can become a serious risk. The two main concerns with heavy rain are going to be flooding and hypothermia if it happens to get cold and wet. Also packing up your wet gear is another issue, which I have some tips for dealing with that right after this. Flooding. The best way to avoid getting into trouble with flooding is to choose a high spot rather than in a valley or a dip in the ground. This doesn't necessarily mean you need to choose the highest point in the area, but definitely not the lowest. This also means avoiding camping on a hill or slope where water is likely to be traveling. The best course of action will be to camp at the top of even just a small hill where water will not be as likely to collect. Take a few moments to survey the area and try to determine where the water is likely to pool up before you set up your tent. While inside your tent, make sure you and your gear do not touch the tent walls. This will break the surface tension and water will be able to pass through the fabric and enter the tent. It doesn't mean your tent is, has a leak or that it's not waterproof, but it will cause water transfer through the fabric. You can avoid this by being careful not to let anything touch the walls of the tent shelter. Now let's talk briefly about hypothermia, what it is, symptoms to look for, treatment, and prevention. This will be a concern if the weather is cold and raining, such as a late fall campout. Hypothermia is a serious medical condition that happens when your body can no longer efficiently keep you warm. Our bodies create heat that keep us running at about 98 degrees Fahrenheit in order to keep us alive. When the body can no longer fight off the cold and our internal temperatures drop below 95, we're in danger of hypothermia. Once our bodies drop below a safe temperature, it can affect our heart rate and nervous system. If you do not get medical attention for this, you can eventually die from hypothermia, so this is pretty serious stuff. Hypothermia can happen when a person is exposed to cold temperatures and wind or cold water such as rain. This is why camping in the cold rain can be so dangerous. It is super important in cold rain to keep yourself dry and avoid hypothermia from setting in. Recognizing hypothermia early can help keep you safe, which brings us to symptoms. The first noticeable symptom is shivering. That isn't to say that shivering means you have hypothermia, but this is a good first indicator. A person may also develop slurred speech, disorientation, or memory loss. They will also develop a slow or weak pulse, rosy complexion or reddish skin, and slow breathing. Because symptoms can come on slowly, it's often hard to notice in yourself. If you are camping alone, it's important to keep an eye on yourself and take frequent inventory of how you're feeling. Next, let's discuss what to do if you or someone you're camping with develops hypothermia. If a person develops these symptoms, get them dry as quickly as possible and try to warm them up. Avoid moving the affected person too quickly and resist overexertion. Remember that hypothermia can cause heart issues, including cardiac arrest, so be aware of that when dealing with someone that may have hypothermia. Remove wet clothing and get them to a dry location if possible. You can warm them up with blankets and dry clothes, but avoid direct heat that can cause further cardiac complications. Warm tea or non-caffeinated drinks can also help warm them up too. You should have a hot compress in your first aid kit and you can use that to help keep them warm. You can also warm up a bottle of water for the person to hold near their body or neck. Do not place the warm water bottle or hot compress on the limbs as this will send cold blood directly to the heart and can be very dangerous. If conditions worsen or the person becomes unconscious, seek medical attention immediately. Hypothermia can be fatal. Okay, finally, let's discuss some prevention techniques. Prevention is fairly simple but not always easy when conditions are bad. Staying warm and dry is a good place to start. This means selecting appropriate gear for the conditions, warm clothes and quality rain gear. Whatever you wear on the bike for rain protection should work. You should also put it on as soon as you think it might get cold and rainy. It's much easier to stay dry than it is to get dry in the rain. If you do happen to get wet, you should change to dry clothes as soon as possible and get somewhere warm. Sometimes the best prevention is to avoid camping in these conditions, although we can sometimes get caught off guard with changing weather. If you're looking for a way to get out from under the rain without being stuck in your tent, you can build a makeshift shelter with a tarp and some paracord. You can get creative with this, but the idea is to attach the tarp by two corners tied off the trees and then the other two corners stake to the ground. This creates a lean-to type shelter that you can set your chair up underneath. This way you can cook or relax without getting wet. You should face the opening away from the wind to avoid rain blowing in. You can also use this type of shelter to set up your tent while it's raining. This gives you a dry place to work and prevents water from getting in before you can get the rain fly over the tent. 
As far as dealing with wet gear on the morning after a rainy campout, you should try to dry it out before you leave if you can. If you have to pack up while it's still raining, you can use a cargo net to strap the tent down to your passenger seat so it's not sitting in with your other camping gear getting everything wet. If you have to pack it up wet, make sure to air it out at the first chance you get. Damp camping gear can develop mildew which can ruin quality gear. Cargo nets are a great way to pack anything up wet that will allow it to air dry as you ride. Just make sure nothing comes loose from under the net and secure down any loose straps before riding off. That is everything you need to know about camping in the rain and dealing with and preventing hypothermia. For more deep dives on topics like this, check out my book, The Fundamentals of Motorcycle Camping, link below. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll catch you in the next one. Ride safe.